Hi everybody, this is Mike Pock, Move Shoot Move Ambassador with Three Peaks Photography. It's Christmas Day and I must have been on Santa's good list because I just got the Move Shoot Move Nomad Tracker and I'm very excited to show it to you today. I have it set up with my Benro three-way geared head and I'm going to break this down and show you what's in the kit and show you how to set it up properly. Before I show you what's in the Nomad kit, I want to show you the original Move Shoot Move tracker. And this is it right here. And the controls over on this side. And here's my plate for my Benro three-way geared head. Now you can see the Nomad is considerably smaller. There's an Arca Swiss plate that's attached to the bottom, so this will fit on any clamp that has an Arca Swiss attachment. And I'll show you all the things that we get and how to set this up. So we'll get this out of the way. So here's everything that's in the basic kit. You have the tracker itself. This is the holder for the laser pointer and the scope. Uh, the kit does, this particular kit does not come with a scope, but if you bought a scope, I will show you how to attach that. Uh, we have a charging cable, so there is a charging port right here on the side. And we have a battery charger for the laser pointer battery. So here's the laser pointer. Before you use it, you want to make sure that you take this cap off the back. and remove this plastic disc. This is to protect the battery from discharging during shipment. So once you take that off and screw this back on, then your laser pointer will work. All right, if you are turning it on and it doesn't work, check to make sure that that uh, disc has been removed or charge the battery. Okay. So let's take a look at the attachment plate. So we need to unscrew this and then take this ring, set it aside. This is the attachment plate that goes to the bottom of your ball head. Okay, so the ball head you're going to use to attach your camera to. So let's show you how to take the attach plate off and then put it on to your ball head. This is for the ball head that you're going to use to attach your camera to. So this is the part of the tracker that rotates. So you just loosen this up here. And then this screw fits onto the bottom of your head. So you got to make sure you leave this collar on. And let's grab my, my head and I'm going to thread it down into here in the bottom. And I also have been given an Allen key to tighten this little Allen screw. This will keep the plate from slipping on your head. So just give that a couple of turns to tighten it up. And then you have this screw to tighten the plate onto the bottom of the head. I always carry a coin with me. I usually keep it in my card wallet. I don't recommend that you just try to tighten this with your fingers. It's much better to get a, a tight grip uh, with a coin or an other, other type of tool. Just cinch that up really well. And then we put this back on here and make sure that the teeth fit into the gear here. And all we have to do is tighten this down so that it fits onto the plate on the tracker. So once we get the thread started, then it just takes a couple of turns to tighten this up and make sure that it's nice and secure so nothing slips. All right, I'm gonna take this off for now just to make it easier for us to see what I'm doing to attach the laser and the scope. 
So there's two different ways that we can attach the laser. One is to, well, with both methods, we have to remove this plug. Okay, so the plug comes out like that. Okay, set that aside. Now we have this adapter that we can thread into here, but before we do that, we want to take the front cap off the laser pointer. As you can see, there's threads right here in the front. And then we can screw our adapter on. And if we turn this around, you can see that there's, there's a little hole in there and the hole comes out this side. So all we have to do is thread the laser pointer right into that hole. And if we're only using the laser pointer, then that's all we have to do. Just turn it on and the laser shines through the hole and we're good to go. Okay, if you want to use the scope and the laser pointer with the scope, then we have this bracket. And we want to make sure that when we put this on, we have that contour matching the contour of the edge of the tracker, okay? Now, we can slip this into here and tighten it up. And if you purchased a scope, then here's my scope right here. The scope will go into here and then tighten down with this nylon nylon screw. Now you're probably going to want to take the laser pointer off if you're using the scope just like this, but I also have oops. So you want to take the laser pointer off before you use the scope and you can leave that adapter in place because that's going to keep the bracket attached to the tracker. But I also have the 90 degree eyepiece, which makes life a lot easier when you're looking through the scope. So I can just attach that right over here. And voila. Okay, so let's take this off. And now uh, let me show you something else. So if you're out on a cold night and you want to make sure that the battery in the tracker lasts a really long time, you can use the charging cable, plug it into the port, and then plug it into an external battery such as this one. Turn the battery on and you're good to go. All right. One thing you'll notice as compared to the original Move Shoot Move model is that we only have one switch. And you see it says south, zero, or north. So in the middle position, it's off. If you turn it to north, then it works for the northern hemisphere. If you switch it over to S for south, then it works for the southern hemisphere. All right, so let's show you how this fits onto my tripod with my three-way Benro head. Okay, now let's see how this all fits on top of my tripod. I'm gonna start with the Benro geared head. Make sure this is nice and tight. And just as a side note, when you're using this head or if you're using a wedge, the adjustment knob for your declination, which is your up and down, you want that to be pointing to your alignment star. So in my case, in the Northern Hemisphere, that's the North Star. And let's see, I'm gonna put on the Nomad. Since I already have this plate, I don't need to use the plate for the head. I can just set this into the clamp. 
and tighten it down, make sure it's nice and tight. Now I can put my laser pointer in. I could just screw the laser pointer into the adapter here. If I'm not using the scope, I can take this bracket off and just attach it directly to the body of the Nomad. I can do my alignment now if I want. Now I'm going to put on my ball head. I've already attached the plate to the bottom of the ball head. I need to make sure that the teeth on the plate engage with the teeth that are on the rotating part of the tracker. Get these threads lined up on the collar. And just tighten this down. Make sure that it's secure and nothing moves. You also want to make sure that your head is put on in the proper orientation. Otherwise, you're going to have to take it off and realign it. So now I have my head on there. And let me adjust this a little bit. Now I'm ready for my camera. So here's my camera. Put it on to the clamp on the ball head. And I am ready to go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned how to use the Nomad Tracker from Move Shoot Move. As a Move Shoot Move ambassador, you can save 10% with my discount code on anything that's available on the MSM website. Get out there, get some great shots of the night sky and share them with us on the user group on Facebook. I'm gonna share some useful links for you and I hope that you like my YouTube channel and check out the other videos that I have it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to try to get some good shots and I will make another video that shows you some of the images that I'm able to capture with this great tracker.